Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Cult of Mac here with the updated iOS 10 Beta 2 installed on my iPhone SE. I installed it early this morning and have had a look around to find out what's new. For the most part, Beta 2 is all about the bug fixes, and from the few hours I've had it installed, I can safely say it's a lot more stable. In terms of changes that I've found, first up is the Messages App Store. If we go into Messages and click on the little arrow pointing right to bring up the Attachments menu, we can now navigate to and access the Messages App Store. At the moment though, there's only a couple of apps for Messages, all of which are direct from Apple. But expect to see a ton of third-party options when the general release comes around. There's also a Manage tab in the top right to choose which apps you want to add or remove from the app drawer. Also, under Settings, there's a new low-quality image mode within Messages, which will send images at a lower quality, to probably help you speed up send times when you have poor reception, and to save on data. There's some minor icon changes for AirPlay settings and Mail. Plus, HomeKit has had a slight change to the layout. Notification Center has changed its Miss tab to Recent, as well as the return of a Today view for widgets. Apple Music has switched out downloaded music with downloads and are no longer removable. On top of that, there's some new 3D touch settings for the control center. Using an SE though means I can't show you this at the moment, but it gives you access to things such as brightness settings for the flashlight and the ability to set timers at set intervals within the clock, along with an easy organ donations option within the medical ID card. In addition, if you have Bluetooth or CarPlay in your car, the Maps app can now show you your park location. In total, we found 50 new changes within iOS 10 Beta 2, so if you'd like to read the full list, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below. The iOS 10 Public Beta will be out sometime this month, with the general release coming this fall. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and also let me know in the comments section if you've installed iOS 10, how you're finding it, is it too buggy, uh, what new features do you like, what don't you like, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.